Alright guys, Ash BFC here and welcome back to Spider-Man <laughs> and uh, we're looking at this screen right here because uh, I was just swinging around and I accidentally triggered the next mission. I didn't think it was going to happen, so I'll just put it on this so it doesn't quickly start, so anyway, here we go. There's the stage entrance and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. That, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? Um, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. No! 
Controlling Miles now. And um Peter's dead, obviously. Oh. thing in video games of like when it comes to something you can climb it's always sort of like got some like paint on it like white or yellow like every game does it I find it slightly insulting like, let me figure it out for myself it was right there For me, these guys are clearly blind as shit. Another thing, every game seems to have this mechanic, like this. Now, not sure exactly what you'd call it, but where you can like highlight stuff here. It's it hard to find a game without it now. Just 
in general, not not a fan of it. Again, just, it's just too much handhold, isn't it? Alright, let's go, go, go! Run! I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. button it was to uh, pay respects but anyway look at this give me suit here I'm sorry Jeff punk I'm busy what's up have you started looking for Martin Lee yet no I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch for spider-man but I'm telling you he's the guy get me some solid evidence and we'll talk solid evidence right hey it's me I'm thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. I think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. 
I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Skill. How many skill points we got? Two. Um, that's one I think I'm going to have to work towards right here. Chain finisher. So you can immediately perform a second finisher on your basic enemies. That one's very, very good, especially in the hard difficulty. I'll get that one right there. I think I'm just with six points for that. Alright. Oh, there is another. Uh, side quest up there. Internet famous. We got Spider Man PI. And we got Helping Howard. I'll tell you what, let's quickly head towards um, Helping Howard. Funny those scenes of uh, Spidey on the subway. I like as well how uh, in all the scenes in the game, you'd be wearing whatever costume you've got on. Like a lot of games in the past, where you can have like alternate costumes, they'll revert back to like the original Today's costume the in the cutscenes. All right, like here's Howard. But it's also a day to vow. Never again. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? Sega, it's another activity. Uh, to the map. Catching pigeons! Interesting. You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Now, you might just recognize that guy's voice. I did the first time I heard it. I recognized it. But I couldn't figure out where I'd heard it before. It took me a little while, and eventually uh, it clicked. And you might know him um, as the guy. It's the voice of um, Lee from uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead. And um, he also, I forget his name, but he voices the big dude from uh, Bayonetta. You know, the guy in the underworld. What's his name? He voices him as well, and there's no doubt he's played on a bunch of other uh, voice acting in games, but I'd say he's probably most recognised from uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead. That was a pretty popular series. And I'll give you a demonstration as to uh, how these pigeon chasing works. In fact, we've actually already seen it, and I was part of another mission, you know, when Spidey was after his. Uh, when it nicked off with the um, USB stick or whatever it were. He works the same as that. There's only 12 of them, don't take long. I think it's 12. Either way, it don't take long. So you just fly to the spot and there you go, just chase after it. Come on! It's a fast one! Nothing like putting my skills to good use. Then you should get the uh, prompt eventually. There you go. Gotcha. Grab it. Yeah, so it is the uh, roll pigeons. You can get a research token for grabbing them at 100 XP. Hey, Howard. I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Grey Flex. Might have just left the stain on my suit. Clear. 
guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Slightly other stuff. I'll uh, do it off screen. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do everything in the game 100% completely. It just it takes too long, you know. And I sort of uh, want to get through this relatively quick and move on. Really. So uh, yeah, but I will probably do the uh, the pigeons. I'll need to do a certain amount because I'll want to sort of you know level up and get certain things. Otherwise, it's going to make certain parts a little bit frustrating for me. Um, you know, being on the hard difficulty. I will do the uh, the side missions as well. It's actually not that many side missions to be honest, but I won't do all the activities like some of the crimes. Uh, you got thug crimes, demon crimes, and there's two other sets of crimes as well, which pop up later on. And they take forever because you've got to swing around waiting for them to pop up, and um, you've got your fist card out, and then there'll be another um, three sets of hideouts as well. I think it's three. Um, again, they all work the same location and go through the six waves of enemies. It it's a bit tedious, really. As I said, it, it's not really the best when it comes to the side content but you know the main uh, story definitely makes up for it but anyway um, yeah I think that's gonna do it for this part right here guys so as always thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time